I love I love when you talk in Spanish. Um, <laughs> I have no I have, um, I have no question. Only to say to talk to you and say say you this. Um, I love everything you do. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the things that you do to us, to our fans. Um, we are right here with you. We got your back, okay? Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, I appreciate that. Life is good. Life is all good. Uh, okay. Um, and thank you for uh, putting in that groove the Spanish. I I love the Spanish um, with with Mary Go. I love that part, and they got um, they got special. <laughs> I love that. It's just, Thank you so I, much. I'm so, I'm so happy. You're very welcome. I'm I'm just so happy that you know people enjoying the show and and uh, especially happy that people love these characters because I I you know watching these actors I was just blown away by them and I am just grateful. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Thank you. Have a great have a great day, and I hope your boy is feeling better right now. They are. Yeah, Jake is on antibiotics. Dylan is fine. I, they're both going back to school tomorrow, and my husband couldn't be happier. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, okay. guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you for calling, Gladys. We appreciate it. All right. Next up, we have Esther from the Netherlands calling. Esther, you're on with uh, Crystal. Say hello. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Pam and everybody. Hi, Hi Esther. How Hi. are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm glad uh, the Netherlands are representing tonight. Excellent. All right. Yeah, yes. too. Woo-hoo. And somebody at the <laughs> airport. That's that's good to know. That's yes, right. Um, yeah, always comes in handy. Those. Uh, that's really good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Crystal, I've got a question. Um, okay. About about your book. Uh, I want to know why you decided to write it now? Was there some specific moment that happened that you thought, now I'm going to write it all down, or was it just a long-time wish? Um, it wasn't a long-time wish. Um, I'm I'm a pretty private person. Um, it really, I felt like I'd reached a transitional point in my life. Uh-huh. Um, you know, in the last year or so, it's been the first time since my kids have been alive that I've been able to be home and be, you know, I've constantly been off and working and um, a lot of changes, a lot of transitions. So I just yeah. started to think, and then and then the, the other part of it is people who talk to me uh, and share their stories with me, and I wanted to, you know, share mine with them. All so right, if, yeah. On some level, somebody, you know, God forbid, can relate to something, you know, if, if there's something there that, that they they can look at and go, well, I'm not the only one, and look what can happen if you just keep, you know, a positive attitude. And, of course, I was in therapy for seven and a half years, but, um, you know, that, that you can have a great, rich, lovely life. And, and it, it, to me, it was, and it was cathartic in a way, too. So, um it was a lot of different reasons for for the timing of it, but the the I really felt like my life was transitioning, and that now was the time to do it. So all right, okay yeah. then. Um, <laughs> thank you for that great answer. And if you're gonna do that book tour, um, well, you know Amsterdam, it's right around do the corner. Do you know somebody? Uh, right. Okay. So you would go to Amsterdam. I I went to New York to your luncheon, so yeah. You know, I feel I feel yeah. a lot of trouble. I see a lot of trouble in Amsterdam in my future. Oh <laughs> uh, well, we'll go to a coffee shop and and you know we'll go from there. See what happens. <laughs> That's a perfect place to start. It it should be uh it should be fun. I I I think. I think right? so. No doubt. All, All right. right. All right. Well, have a great evening and uh, thank you, you to the hosts for this excellent show. And thank, thank you for calling in, Esther. You're welcome. All right, bye. I think I'd like to hang out with bye. Esther. She sounds like a lot of right? fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, next up, we have Brenda. And I think, Don, you're going to have to press it because, again, my screen is not working. Oh, dear. Okay. Let me see. Brenda, you are on with Crystal. Say hello. Hello. Hi, Brenda. Yeah, we- Hi, Crystal, and uh, I really feel bad that I'm following the the fun the fun Esther because <laughs> I, I don't know if I sound as much fun. 
No, um, no, no pressure. But yeah, I know. Um, first of all, I wanted to tell you that I, I really think you're an amazing actress and writer, and I love how much time you give your fans and uh, hope to meet you someday if you ever come back to the East Coast. I'm in Pennsylvania. Okay, we can do a, a New York thing. You, you go to New York? Oh, yeah, yeah. I do okay. go to New York. I love New York. So I have to look for that. Um, but I, I wanted to tell you that I recently discovered the Italia story on YouTube, and um, I think I knew about Guiding Light doing this story years ago, but um, I don't think it affected me as much because at the time uh, I was not in a similar situation, but after that, I was in a very similar situation, and I've been with my best friend for the last 10 years after we realized that we were in love with each other. And oh, uh, so it it really touched me um, finding that, that storyline and um, how true to life the writing really was and all of the feelings yeah. that were portrayed. And well, uh, I wanted to thank you for continuing with Venice and the Grove and, um, you know, really nice, loving stories. Oh, thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. And I'm happy for you. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I thought they wrote it beautifully. I, I, you know, it's Ellen Wheeler and Jill Hurst, and they, they really took their time. And, in fact, the two ladies, Ellen Wheeler was the executive producer and Jill the head writer, um, would – they they cared so much about the story that they would uh, actually sit and with the scenes in front of them and and do the scenes to make sure that they were playing in a very um, honest way, you know. Um, so right. I, I really have to credit uh, those two ladies for for making that happen. I don't think many people know that, but and and Ellen herself as the executive producer, you know, she had to dodge a lot of political darts. Um, so she smartly, um, you know, took her took took it very slowly, and and uh, I think she's I think she's brilliant for for having done that. So um, mm-hmm. thank you. I'm so so glad that you, you know, you found it. I did. Yeah, I it, I did find it. Um, well, there is well one one problem is we're not we're we're in a small town. <laughs> so family family is aware, um, but really nobody else. And uh, uh-huh. so that makes it very difficult, but it's it's just so um, so close to even you know the way the the story was playing out and how you know they 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 knew that they wanted to be together, they just didn't know how to go about it and uh, right. that everybody would sink and um, but one day <laughs> right uh, you know we'll both be there maybe day at a time. Yep. Yep, but uh, but thank you very much and uh, taking the time to do all of these radio shows and everything and uh, uh, I think you're doing a great thank job. You. Thank you very much and thanks for calling thank, in. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. All right, up next we have Robin from Los Angeles calling. Robin, you're on with Crystal. Say hello. Hello. Hello, you're on Hi, with Crystal. Hi, Robin. Okay, Hi. Oh, sorry, uh, something stuck in my ear. Hi, Crystal. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And I'm Robin Ashley from Twitter. Um, Hi, I know you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, it seems like you're already getting a, a lot of kudos for the growth, but I just want to throw mine in there and just say how well done I thought it was. And uh, just okay. really congratulations. It's like, what, like 50 thousand views on YouTube and just continues to grow. So congratulations on that. Um, Thank you. And just how much I really enjoyed it, because I know when you, you first mentioned it, a lot of people were um, a little hesitant because, you, you know, you had the same leads with you and Jessica, but as, as Venice and people thought it might be too similar, but quite honestly, they are nothing alike to me. And um, like, I didn't even think about it while watching it. I just really just, got sucked into the show and enjoyed it. And then an hour later, it was like, uh, where's the next episode? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, no, I think that's a very fair thing to, to think. I, You know, the, the, the Grove was born out of um, the possibility that Venice wasn't going to continue because of certain reasons that I don't need to get into. But um, uh, And I wanted it to be much more um, small town, less glossy, um, 
and really focus on uh, these two families and um, and these two women who are already married. Um, and uh, you know, obviously, as it moves forward, the issue of children, uh, well, that's 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 going to be a, an issue between these two two ladies and them. Um, but thank you. I mean, we we really uh, Paul Barber, um, Michael Sabatino. I I don't know who he is, and. Um, <laughs> You know, but we uh, we really wanted to create this world that was was very different than Venice Beach and and Venice the series. So appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. And thanks for all your support. Oh no problem. <laughs> oh, what? I'm sorry. Hello. Well, Robin. Hello? Thank you. Hello. Yeah. Well, I'm Robin. Here. Thank you so very much for calling in today and speaking with Crystal. We certainly appreciate it. Oh, thank you for having her on, and thank you for doing this, Crystal. Oh, anytime. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm teasing. All right, we've got time for one more call, and we're going to take Carla in Tennessee. Carla, you're on with Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Um, Carla. Another CC. Another um, CC. Yes. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to call in and, and, you know, tell you how much that I appreciate everything that you do for your fans. Um, you know, a lot of celebrities don't take the time to tweet with us and, you know, chat with us and all that stuff, and I appreciate it, and I know a lot of the people on Twitter appreciate it as well. Well, thank um, you. One of my questions was on V4. Um, are there going to be any new characters or recast at this point? Um, well, Robert Newman is coming in to play Richard. Um, Ooh, I'm, I love Robert. Wes, Wes Ramsey's uh, coming back, although you know I have to find something for Eric because I absolutely adore him, um, mm-hmm. and he saved my butt. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think if there's any new characters. There might be a development of a character, and I, I in a the character of Dana, I, I have a couple of uh, daytime actresses in mind for that. That char- that part's going to grow a little bit um, okay. with uh, the Sean Christian character of Brandon. And um, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's a lot more change than that. The, 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 the season really uh, revolves around Gina, Annie, and Lara, although it, the other characters are definitely... Um, have story and uh, the character Jake has a much bigger part, obviously. Um, Christian LeBlanc. Um, trying to think, I've read that script like twenty times. Um, <laughs> you can always yeah, get it my way, and I'll I read think, it again I for you. I think the Italia fans will be very happy, and and, and yeah, some. Uh, oh, the character Sarah um, Molly Burnett's going to come on and play her uh, again, and uh, that's a much bigger part. And there's some interesting revelations about that character. Um, yeah, I mean it's 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 coming together. Pre-production always makes me feel like I I'm on on that sit and spin that I had as a kid. <laughs> you remember the sit and spin? Oh, I do. I had one. Oh my god. That's right, and you just sit on it, and you just go around for it. Right, I walk over it a couple of times, if I recall. Get an upper body workout, but you know that's that's kind of where we are. But um, I I want to say that look, this is Venice, the Grove. Uh, none of neither one of these shows is possible without um, fans like you who uh, support, who you know, talk about it, tweet about it, Facebook about it, um, buy sponsorships, buy subscriptions. Um, you know, I, 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 I say that my, you know, my, my fans are my producers, they're my investors. And, um, I'm very, I'm like, I, I only hope that what I, what I put out there is something that they enjoy because they've invested in it. So, um, so thank you. Everything that you've done, everything you've done and and we'll always support whatever you put out there. Well, thank you. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) So Michael and the boys, hello. I will. I will, sweetheart. Thank you so much. All right. Love Thanks you. a Bye-bye. lot, Carla. I'm, I'm getting all twangy because I'm, I'm listening to all these lovely southern yeah. lilts, and it's just like, oh, my. <laughs> it's easy it's to so pick pretty. up. <laughs> it's so pretty, though. <laughs> I know. I teased Dawn about hers, but I know everybody loves it. 